Well, I, I think all, it's always a good time to invest in small caps, to be honest, Tom. The, the small cap space is chock-a-block with emerging companies that are going to become, hopefully, future leaders. Stocks like CSL, Computer Share, Cochlear, Sonic Healthcare, Ramsey, the list goes on. They're stocks that have risen 20, 30, 40 fold over the last 15 to 20 years. Now, most of those stocks, thankfully, the JB Weir fund I managed before I set up the Pengana fund with Ed Prendergast uh, benefited unit holders from those share price rises. Those stocks now have moved on, they're global leaders, they're household names, and they're, they're, they're large caps. The next breed to come through, which we didn't benefit from in the Pengana uh, fund, was the internet stocks. So REA, car sales, what if, seek. 11 years ago, they were very small, in some cases, micro caps. 11 years ago, when we set up this Pengana Emerging Companies Fund, Online advertising was at about 5 or 6% of the total advertising pool. Today it sits at over 50%. So they've really benefited from that migration from traditional media to online. You can't get that exposure across the industry growth sense to the, in the large cap space. So the, the, the future leaders, no doubt, will be emerging companies today. Another way to answer that question is, and this is not necessarily a well-known fact, is that the broader ASX 200 is not a very well represented or diversified list of companies at all. Of the top 200 companies, 30% of those stocks by market capitalization are banks. If the, of the top 10 stocks in the ASX 200, they represent 50% of the market cap of the ASX 200. So if investors are looking for a broad diversification across both stock numbers and by industry, they're not getting it by investing just in the ASX 200. You need to trawl down to small industrial companies where we have a thousand stocks we're looking at, building a portfolio of 60 stocks from, and you truly do, do get enormous amount of opportunity in terms of this industry diversification and exposure that you're simply not getting from, as I say, the broader large caps. The second answer to that is that there's a very obvious advantage for small cap managers in terms of the alpha possibilities, the generate, ability to generate performance that beats the benchmark. And it's a very well documented fact that probably three quarters of small cap fund managers outperform their benchmark. And that simply comes about because there's a thousand stocks we're all looking at, a thousand stocks that can't all be effectively and efficiently priced. Stockbroker analysts will gravitate to the large caps where they can write a broker ticket they're not looking at companies with market caps of 50 to 100, 300 mil, which is our sweet spot. Very little analytical coverage being conducted at that end of the market. That's, they're, they're your true future leaders. They're the stocks that we continue to research. That's why we conduct, on average, seven company visits every week. We have since we started the fund 11 years ago, because they're the companies that are going to provide us the, the 10, 20, 30-fold increases in share prices over the next um, five, six, seven years, hopefully. Steve, are there a couple of couple of new additions to the portfolio that you're particularly excited about at the moment? Yeah, probably a couple of recent inclusions I mentioned would be IPH. IPH is a 130 year old patent attorney, IP trademark filing company for overseas companies. It's a company that we're attracted to not just because of the history and the stable management, but because revenue is very sticky if you're a global leader trusting IBH with your IP, not about to shop around for its filing on, on price. So you, very sticky customer base. They're also acquiring um, smaller players in Australia and consolidating the market. Another one would be uh, Life Healthcare, which is a distributor of medical devices to um, surgeons in particular. Good niche player, growing through acquisition, and it's very uh, sensible, low risk way and trading on a very reasonable single-digit price earnings ratio.